Former Bank of Canada Governor Mark Carney takes over as the head of the Bank of England next week. Waiting for him on his first day on the job is a sensitive issue that is dividing Britain. As Stuart Greer explains, it will be up to Carney, a Canadian, to decide whose famous face should adorn the British 10-pound note. After happily coexisting for 13 years with other British banknotes, the 10-pound Charles Darwin bill could be on the brink of extinction. Sir, I cannot accept you. Darwin's potentially harsh rejection could see him replaced by the author of Pride and Prejudice and other English classics, Jane Austen. Uh, the Jane Austen note has been up and running in, internally for two years. Uh, that clearly is a candidate for the £10 note down the road. And there's pressure to make that change sooner than later, after the Bank of England sparked a wave of outrage when it announced plans to dump the only woman currently on UK banknotes besides the Queen. Tens of thousands of people have backed a petition to save Elizabeth Fry, a 19th century prison reformer. She's to be swapped for Winston Churchill on the Fiver, which some are already nicknaming the Winston. But that will leave an all-male lineup on British notes, and opponents are threatening to take the issue to court for violating the country's Equality Act. It's ridiculous. It's the 21st century. Um, we should start celebrating women so that young women grow up, growing up have, have role models to look up to. Walking right into the center of this legal tender gender storm is former Bank of Canada Governor Mark Carney. As incoming chief of the Bank of England, this Canadian will have the final say on which British historical figure will appear on the nation's currency. Such a symbolic decision is fraught with risk, and not everyone is a fan of Jane Austen. I mean, I think if they're going to go with authors, though, I mean, there's, there's so many, it's like Mary Shelley's achievements, I think, maybe, because the, the age she was when she wrote Frankenstein. Carney can choose whom he likes, but he's been warned there had better be at least one woman. Advice I'd have for him is to listen to me because I'm not going away, so he might as well just get it over with. Either way, it seems old Charles Darwin's days are numbered, but he, more than anyone, would have understood this process of natural selection in the evolution of the British pound. Stuart Greer, Global News, London.